Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. Okay, so following on from the last video, um, I'm going to be using some of the papers that we made, some of these lovely papers. Now, I have got some bits and pieces here, some lace, um, some seam binding. I'm going to make like a little envelope. Um, I've already cut this one out, so these are the lovely papers. Um, so let's pop this to the side because I'm not going to use that one. This is the one that we made in the video and all I've done I've just cut it out. Um, I've popped a piece of paper on the back. So this is A4 paper um, and it's just out of a old Portuguese book like this. So I've just popped it on the back to give me um, like a template and also for the inside of the uh, envelope. So I'm going to just show you this one that I've done. Now it won't be like this one, this is this one because I don't have enough of the pink, I had more of the blue. So this one I've just made, I think it looks really really lovely. It feels almost like sort of like a faux leather. Um, so I'm going to open this up, I've just made it into like a open out envelope. And I've got a little um, pocket in the bottom there with a little journal. So that pops in there, another little pocket there um, with the two sort of like leftover pieces of the paper I've added sort of like a little topper to the top of the little writing page so we've got two of those um, so it fitted I managed to get two pockets a little journal and a couple of those little letters there um, and I just folded it up and made it into like a little a little um, pocket envelope which I think looks really really nice um, and it's lovely it feels really really nice um, so on this one I'm just going to make sort of like an envelope because I don't have a huge amount of this one. I should have done a little bit more because it's quite nice. Um, but then again I'm going to embellish it with some little bits and pieces there. So all I've done, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it up. So we shall have this, I don't want it too big, fold it up like that. And then we'll pop this piece down there just like that just like you would make an envelope and i think that looks really really lovely so i'm going to just embellish this so i've got some of this that i used on the christmas journal which i think would look quite nice on there um, i've got a little bit of this tea stain coffee stain seam binding a little bit of this sort of like um, lace and some more of this pink one which goes really well so all I'm going to do I'm going to decorate it first I'm going to pop something along here so that's the inner piece so I think I might just pop a little bit of this sort of lace so I can find the end or maybe I'll pop a little bit of this on as well so I'll put that over the top maybe I'll put this just so it's a little bit lower and then we can have that on the top like that okay three in one so I hope you've all had a go at making these papers it's just something to just it's probably nothing really new it's just um, sometimes we forget how um, to do these sort of like things because we're so want to learn something new uh, but it's quite nice. I know I do design um, digital papers, but it's quite nice to make your own papers now and again. Just so we don't forget. So I'm going to pop that on there. And then I'm going to scrunch this up. Wrinkle it up a little bit and then sew it. So I'm going to just pop that on like that. Get a piece of this and just scrunch it up just like this all the way along my glue will come out there we go just like that so just scrunch it up when you sew it it will sort of like flatten down just a little bit so go all the way along Stay down, there we go. 
a little bit. I went to the end. There we go. Squidge it down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. No, I think that looks really nice. So that's going to be the inside of the envelope. Now I'm going to quickly go and sew that so it doesn't come off. Okay, two seconds. Okay, so that's on there nice and um, safely. Let's chop the little bits of cotton off like that. So I think that looks nice, doesn't it? I might actually just ink this up so it's not so white. Let's see if I've got a little bit of ink on there. You can see the texture of the paper coming through as well. That's a little bit better, so then that can go. So now we just need to decorate this side. That's a little bit coming off there. Let's decorate this end piece. So I think I'll put the piece of this so it comes off, just so it matches the um, inner bit. going to put a piece of this on I think just like that I think that will look quite nice as well let's have a think or maybe I should just have it I don't want to do too much and then that over the top yes I think I will Bit of glue, pop this down like that. So that looks quite nice, doesn't it? And then what I'm going to do is the same as I did underneath and just wrinkle that up like that and stick it on normally I don't stick it normally I just go straight to the sewing machine and sew it so maybe I will do that because I find that a lot easier to wrinkle it up on the sewing machine than to sort of stick it so that gives you there an idea of that. So I'm just going to quickly go and sew this on the machine. Let me get all of it because I've got an awful lot of it here. Let me grab that and I will be two seconds. There we go. That was quicker for me. Let's just chop that end off there. A little bit off here like that. So how nice is that? I think they look really, really good so quick and so easy to do now i'm going to add what shall we add as the closure and shall we go all the way around There's a little bow or just attach it to there and sew it to there i think that's what i would prefer to do so what I normally do is just cut that off. My hands are filthy with paint and ink. Put a little bit of glue on there. And fold that in half. Just like that. It's not very straight, is it? wasn't quite the middle gosh I can't find the middle there just over 
that's a bit better. There we go. So I would say about that much. Let's just eyeball it. Cut that piece off. Cut that in half. And what I need to do then, stick this piece onto there. Make sure we are in the right place. Just like that. So before we um, sew the actual envelope together, I'm going to just sew that little bit in there. Okay, just going to sew this bit there and I'm going to sew that into there. Okay, there we go. Let's cut these little bits off. Now again, if you don't sew, just stick them, but make sure you stick them on properly with a good glue. Put little bits on there. There we go. Perfect. Now again, if you wanted to do it like this one, like the blue one, then you don't sew the edges up. Um, if you've made enough of your fabric, not fabric, of your paper, you can make the little pockets. Any little pockets can fit in there, um, like that. Um, and then that just does up like this. And I think it looks really, really lovely. Oops, piece of cotton there. Just do that up in a bow. Right. Shall I put anything else on it before I sew it up? Doesn't quite go, does it? Do we need another little bow? No. I think I might just keep it like that. I think that looks really nice. Make a little journal to go in it. Now I'm just going to quickly sew the sides up. wonder if this is left over from another piece I did. That would probably go quite well, wouldn't it? To make like a little journal to go in there. I might do that for another video. I'll leave this one here and I might just do that one in another video. Um, I'm just going to quickly sew up the sides. So that was really simple. And there we go. Quick and easy little project there. Go. So that's all sewn up. So we've got a nice envelope there. You can put all sorts of bits and pieces in there, but I think that looks really nice and it's really nice bright colour. Like that. Next one I will make a little journal to go inside it, I think. So there we go. Two little ones which are really nice. So it's a nice um, paper. So again, um, just make your own. And then it's really really simple all right guys thank you so much for joining me um, i hope you give it a go you don't have to use the paper you can use any paper to make the little envelopes as well um, so it just gives you an idea all right guys thank you so much for joining me take care and i'll see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.